we are looking today at the Clicks unboxing. So my current setup, just to show iPhone 14 Pro, I usually have this leather case and the uh, Peaks Design tripod on there. I uh, wanted to talk about that product one day and maybe discuss it, but I kind of go uh, hot and cold on that product. <clears throat> I knew it was going to be kind of a wait. I was expecting that. I do unboxings for a living make that look way easier than it is on camera. So here we have the clicks. Get it out of this guy. Clicks keyboard. Founders edition for the iPhone 14 Pro. Very nice box. Got to get there. And there is the product. That's pretty cool. So there is the case, the little There is the case there. That's the yeah. The case without the sticker. My little assistant just passed me a cute little note. I'm glad she's here to help. Oh, thank you. You're giving me candy, my assistant. So we just click it in. It feels a little a little more kind of plastic feeling than I was expecting. And Hmm. I mean, that's pretty bad, but first time, and I was kind of holding it at a strange angle, not the angle I'll be holding it in for daily use. Uh, so there it is. It's the Clicks Founders Edition London Fog, I believe. London Fog. I, I think I was expecting a little darker. If I go over kind of my first expectations, I uh, thought maybe a little darker. Um, it's as long as I thought, and it's more top heavy than I kind of thought. And I read about the uh, the weights added, but it's definitely more kind of top heavy than I anticipated. So that's something to think about. Um, I don't. I don't know. I was gonna try to do it for 30 days, use it 30 days without taking it out of the case. But uh, the keys definitely, they're flatter than I imagined. I figured they would be a little more round. They got a good little click to them. <clears throat> I'm not disappointed at all. I just feel like, I don't know, for, for the price and for the uh, for the longevity, depending on how often you upgrade, I usually upgrade about two and a half years or so. Uh, so to me, not really a big deal if it's something that is usable for my daily life. But I really don't write a lot of emails on my phone. This was more like a purchase due to Mr. Mobile and Crackberry Kevin being involved when I used to be a phone junkie and would switch every month when Android and Apple were kind of just getting to go, which I also loved phones before that with the Trio before and the um, uh, Trio and then before that all the Motorola's. Uh, sorry, laughing a little bit with my assistant off camera. She helps me, she's my producer I believe. So as she looks at my notes, I'm getting told that I have been ha bad handwriting and I said, oh, I said a UR code? Yeah. And I was supposed to say a QR code. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. I said that wrong. I know what a QR code is. I don't know why I slipped up there, but QR code was on the uh, on the start of the video. So that's the clicks. Um, I'm gonna do some more content about it. Uh, I'm not sure. I, 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 I'm kind of a little indifferent on that unboxing. My first ever unboxing up while trying to film it. Uh, hopefully okay with the camera setup I've got going on. And. Uh, We'll hopefully have a new video soon. Thanks for checking it out.